So it's been said that all soils have all the micro macro nutrients in them and they're just locked up in the sand, silts, and clays. Um, what is your response to that? It's not, it's not true. Um, the, it's a, I think it's a, as a generality grossly over the surface of the earth, it's more or less kind of sort of true, but in literally it's not true because yeah. I mean, you, there are some soils that are like, you know, sands that are basically just quartz sands. It's got silicon and oxygen in it. <laughs> you know, you don't have the mineral micronutrients. But if you look at most agricultural soils in most parts of the world, yeah, the stuff that you need to grow plants is in there. The question is how you get it out of the soil particles. And you take a, a typical soil test, um, it's just testing what's plant, ava plant available, which means already soluble. Now, if you look at how something like, say, phosphorus gets out of a rock and gets into a plant, most of the phosphorus in the soil is tied up in stable minerals. They're, it's not very soluble. It takes a while to get it out, and there's fungal communities and bacteria that work to dissolve that stuff out of rocks, and that can really quite specifically go get it, and they will actually bring it back and trade it to plants for sugars. Why? Well, because the one thing fungi can't do, I mean, they're pretty amazing organisms, but they can't photosynthesize. They can't harvest sunlight and turn it into organic matter. They need a plant to do that, and then they can either um, eat, if you will, stuff that the plant pushes into the soil, that the plant exudes into the soil through its roots, or they can decay uh, organic matter, the once living matter that used to be a plant. Um, and what do plants do? 